let's look at uh, solving equations with more than one fraction okay suppose you have an equation like this say a uh, a uh, divided by a divided by 4 uh, plus a divided by 3 is equal to say 15 a number divided by 4 plus the same number divided by 3 gives you 15 so the first thing first so first the first thing that we would do is I don't want this 4 and 3 so I will first find the least common multiple LCM of 4 and 3 or 3 and 4 well the LCM of 3 and 4 and 3 is 12 so I'm going to multiply each of this uh, this term this term and also this 15 by I'm going to multiply by 12 so this is 12 let me use a different color 12 I'm going to multiply each of them by 12 so 12 times so this is 12 a divided by 4 plus 12 a divided by 3 and this is 12 times 15 so I'm multiplying each of them by 12 so what will happen so 4 goes in 12 three times 3 goes in 12 four times so now this has become a simple linear equation which is 3a plus 4a is equal to 15 times 12 15 times 10 is 120 15 times 5 is 60 so this is 180 okay so now I can say well this is 7 lots of a is equal to 180 so now I'm can divide both sides by 7 so 7 a divided by 7 is 180 divided by 7 so a and a gets 7 and 7 gets cancelled so a is 180 divided by 7 okay and that's your answer you can leave the answer just like this okay so let's do one more question what if you have x plus 1 divided by 3 minus x divided by 5 is equal to say 10 here again the same strategy I'm going to multiply each of them by the LCM of the denominator so the LCM the least common multiple of 3 and 5 is well 3 times 5 which is 15 so I'm going to multiply this by 15 I'm going to also multiply x by 15 so to be fair I'd also multiply 10 by 15 okay so now well uh, what can I do 3 goes in 15 4 times 5 times sorry 3 goes in 15 5 times 5 goes in 15 3 times so now this has become a linear equation which is 5 times x plus 1 minus 3 times x is equal to 150 now this is pretty simple you just expand this simplify and solve it so this is 5 times x which is 5x 5 times 1 is 5 minus 3x is equal to 150 now you got 5 lots of x take away 3 lots of x well that is 2x plus 5 is equal to 150 taking away 5 from both sides if you take away 5 from this side you have to take away 5 from this side so well this is 2x is 145 and now dividing both sides by 2 so 2x divided by 2 is equal to 145 divided by 2 so x and x gets cancelled x is 145 divided by 2 
which is of course I don't want to do with a uh, user calculator. So this is 144 divided by 2 plus half, which is x is, this is how much, 72 plus po 0.5, so this is 72.5 to be exact. Okay, let me finish off with one more question. Okay, what if you have x minus 3 divided by 4 plus say 2x divided by 3 is equal to 9. Again, the same strategy, you're going to multiply each of them by the LCM of 3 and 4, which is 12. So I can now directly do, so this is times 12. This is also times 12. So this is a good strategy to remove the denominator. So, well, 4 goes in 12 3 times. 3 goes in 4, sorry, 3 goes in 12 4 times. So now this has changed into a simple linear equation. So this is 3 times x minus 3 plus 4 times 2x is 12 times 9, which is 108. So this is 3x minus 9 plus 8x is equal to 108. So now you have to simplify 3 lots of x plus 8 lots of x is 11 lots of x take away 9 is equal to 108. Now I'm going to add 9 to both sides so this is 11x minus 9 plus 9 is equal to 108 plus 9. So this and this gets cancelled. So this is 11 lots of x is 1, 1, 7. So we can say, well, x is dividing both sides by 11 is 1, 1, 7 divided by 11. You don't need to write this more uh, as a fraction. Leave it as the answer. And this is your exact answer. x is 111 over 7. OK, now to check your answer, uh, you can put this number in this equation and you will find that would be exactly 12.